At a depth of 4,000 meters within the ocean, the submarine exploring the wreckage of the Titanic experienced a catastrophic explosion. But this tiny snailfish, a marine organism, has the remarkable ability to endure extreme depths of up to 8,300 meters. Experts widely acknowledge this creature as the most powerful entity on the planet. An elephant herd, a locomotive, or large vehicles passing over it won't harm its body in the slightest. However, the inquiry at hand is about the contents within its anatomical structure. If we were to travel a distance of 350 kilometers in the southwest direction from Guam Island in the Pacific Ocean, we would arrive at the region of the sea where the deepest point in the ocean is situated. This particular location is commonly known as the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a substantial crescent-shaped depression located on the ocean floor. It is 69 kilometers wide and 25, 50 kilometers long. As a consequence of the presence of this depression, the corresponding section of the ocean experiences a dramatic increase in depth. One can also observe the hole on Google Earth to gain a visual understanding of its characteristics. The trench under consideration is known as the Challenger Deep, which represents the most profound location on Earth. It is situated at an approximate depth of 11,033 meters or 36,200 feet beneath the surface of the ocean. The aforementioned depth represents the least extensively investigated region within the ocean. This region is alternatively referred to as the Hadal Zone. The designation of this entity was derived from the ancient Greek realm of the dead known as Hades. The highly challenging conditions at this particular depth, including perilous darkness, scarcity of sustenance, and formidable pressure exerted on bones render the survival of organisms in this environment exceedingly improbable. Initially, there was a prevailing belief that the prospect of humans attaining access to the Hadal zone was implausible. However, a significant occurrence took place during the 19th century that had a lasting impact on this notion. The ocean was host to the vessel known as HMS Challenger in the year 1875. The goal of the ocean explorers of that era was to locate the ocean's lowest point. Upon arrival at a designated destination, the individuals proceeded to suspend a mass from a rope and subsequently project it into the mass of water known as the ocean. Observers have noticed that the rope is still descending, but it has not reached the lowest point yet. This unusual occurrence signifies that their rope has never terminated prior to reaching the ocean's floor. The announcement generated astonishment among ocean explorers worldwide, merely knowing that the Mariana Trench holds the title of being the deepest place in the ocean proved insufficient as many attempts were made to reach this location. However, the overwhelming depth of the trench rendered any attempts to approach it futile. 85 years subsequent to the initial exploration of Challenger Deep in the year 1960, two individuals showed courage by venturing to such an extreme depth. Jacques Picard, a renowned oceanographer, and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh, an esteemed military officer, successfully carried out this achievement on board the submarine known as Trieste. The duration of their excursion spanned five hours and included a multitude of obstacles. The decline took a total of five hours, with the remaining five hours allocated for the return. At this particular depth, the water pressure is approximately 1,000 times greater than at sea level. During the course of their expedition, the submarine's window sustained damage, resulting in a limited duration of 20 minutes for the people inside to remain in the Challenger Deep. Subsequently, they were required to go up again. Undoubtedly, their presence at this point was limited, yet the observations made within significantly shocked the scientific community. The concept of life refers to the condition or state of being alive, which includes 
the observers were greatly surprised upon encountering a viable species of fish at a depth of 1,100 meters beneath the surface of the ocean. Notably, the Challenger Deep's significant depth would keep the summit of Mount Everest almost two kilometers beneath the surface of the water, even if the mountain were hypothetically situated within it. The water pressure in this location measures approximately 16,000 psi, pounds per square inch. This implies that the force applied to a surface area of precisely one square inch is equivalent to 7,250 kilograms. As a consequence of time constraints, the individuals had to promptly depart from Challenger Deep. However, the expedition presented a significant mystery for marine researchers and biologists. Ultimately, what are the factors that enable life to thrive within the Hadal zone in environments lacking oxygen and sunlight? Conducting research at extreme oceanic depths is an exceedingly challenging endeavor. Hence, in the year 1996, the nation of Japan successfully engineered a robotic submarine known as Kaiko. They designated the mission as the Kaiko mission. Kaiko, the submersible, deployed to the Challenger Deep, retrieved samples from the ocean floor and subsequently returned them. During its mission, Kaiko successfully retrieved various materials. Upon conducting tests, researchers discovered a large number of unusual bacteria on the ocean floor, representing a previously undocumented bacterial population. The laboratory experiments have indicated that this particular bacteria exhibits unique characteristics, notably its capacity to endure and thrive under conditions of elevated pressure. Typically, terrestrial plants derive energy via the process of photosynthesis. This refers to the process by which plants utilize sunshine, water, and carbon dioxide. These microorganisms are responsible for the existence of life in the deep ocean. Bacteria generate energy and oxygen via a chemical process wherein they absorb carbon dioxide and minerals from rocks. The scientific term for this process is referred to as chemosynthesis. These bacteria generate energy that serves as the primary energy source for other organisms inhabiting the deep marine environment. The presented information confirms the possibility of sustaining life within the Hadal zone. Scientists have discovered that the Mariana Trench harbors the deepest dwelling fish species, known as the snailfish. Due to its habitat in the Hadal zone, this particular species is commonly referred to as the Hadal snailfish. The fish in question is subjected to significant physical strain since its body can reach lengths of up to 12 inches and thicknesses of up to 3 inches. The fish's body has an approximate surface area of 25 square inches. In addition, the pressure at such a depth reaches 16000 pounds per square inch, PSI. According to the derived estimations, the Hadal snailfish would consistently experience a substantial weight load of around 170,000 kilograms distributed throughout its entire body. For the purpose of providing a reference, it is worth noting that the empty weight of a Boeing 777 aircraft is recorded at 168,000 kilograms. The average weight of a locomotive is 150,000 kilograms. It is quite remarkable that a fish of such diminutive size is capable of supporting such a substantial amount of weight. However, what is the underlying cause behind this phenomenon? Sadly, the scientific community is still unable to ascertain accuracy. In reality, conducting research in that particular location is unfeasible, as the snailfish and other deep-sea organisms would have fatal consequences if removed from their natural habitat, resulting in their bodies breaking due to the absence of enough pressure. Recent scientific research has revealed that fish inhabiting the uppermost layers of water possess an internal organ known as a swim bladder. The swim bladder is inflated with air, thereby preventing excessive depth penetration. However, deep-sea organisms 
lack a swim bladder, which enables them to navigate effortlessly in the depths. Moreover, recent findings have unveiled the presence of an organic compound known as piezolites among all aquatic organisms. This molecule serves as a protective agent against compression-induced damage to membranes and proteins. Scientists have discovered a significant amount of piezolites within the snailfish. However, the mechanism by which these piezolites provide protection to proteins and membranes from compression remains unknown. The discovery of a technology capable of conducting live fish studies in the Challenger Deep will only be determined at that time. This video is something I hope you enjoy and share. I sincerely appreciate your gracious remarks. I look forward to encountering you in the next fascinating video.